Hello, St. John's United Methodist Church. Uh, Pastor David here with the Word of the Day. Uh, yesterday, got caught up with uh, quite a few meetings at the church uh, since we had the office open up. Uh, it seemed like there were a lot of people coming by uh, who wanted to see what was going on and catch up, and I'm very thankful for that. It was good to see many of you yesterday, many people coming in, every, wearing masks, and I was wearing a mask myself uh, to take those precautions when visiting with people but it is good to um, sort of work our way back uh, to being able to offer you the types of ministries and missions that you you um, seek as you want to discover and find the Lord here at St. John's United Methodist Church um, the conference, the Florida Annual Conference, is probably going to issue guidelines for about reopening, uh, and we can use those guidelines of the church council to uh, determine how we will um, plan our uh, opening in phases. Just like the state of Florida is going to reopen in phases, so too will St. John's, and uh, we're going to have. There is going to be a committee. From the church council is going to get together and kind of take a look and you will hear a word when we get that together and so I thank you for your patience for your support for your prayers your presence your gifts your witness and your service uh, your um, all of those are very vital and you have remained remarkably faithful and connected as a church community during this very difficult time and I hope my word of the day has been a blessing to you uh, I will try to keep those up as often as I can, but please understand and have patience if, um, you know, it's not always able to happen every day. But uh, Mike, uh, Pastor Mike and Pastor Jeannie will um, also bring something uh, this week as well, I anticipate. Um, so our word of the day, speaking of making good decisions and having good planning and bringing things in faces, the word of the day is wisdom. And we need wisdom from on high to make good decisions for the benefit of our whole church community. And we know we're also eager to gather again in this space, but we need wisdom that tells us discretion is the better part of God. I always loved that axiom. Um, my dad taught it to me. But it kind of, there's an understanding that wisdom tells us to stop, take a minute, and make the best decision we can. Um, believe it or not, during times of great stress, our decision making is often affected. Um, we kind of appeal to the reptile side of our brain, our more instinctive side, and maybe we aren't making the most clear and level-headed decisions that we can. You know, wisdom helps us to stop, take a breather, pause, and pray to God and ask for guidance from on high. Wisdom is a gift from God. Uh, it is a spiritual gift. And um, it might be expressed in spiritual gifts in terms of a word of knowledge or an insight that God gives us. It, it might be acquired experience that we have. There are many kinds of different def definitions of wisdom in Scripture. Uh, and of course, the book that best explains, in the whole Bible, that best explains all of wisdom is Proverbs. And in Proverbs, between the beginning and the end, and during different parts, uh, intermediately, there's a a personified wisdom weaved throughout that. And wisdom is personified as lady wisdom, uh, Sophia. Uh, this is the Greek word for wisdom, and so it makes a great girl's name, but it comes from the Greek word for wisdom. So there's a famous church in Turkey, it's now a mosque, that was built um, during the Byzantine Empire, uh, during the time of Emperor Justinian. It's probably one of the world's architectural wonders, uh, certainly kind of a masterful display of using the dome and using lighting to kind of bring heaven on earth. Uh, that building is called Hagia Sophia. Hagia meaning holy uh, or saint, and uh, Sophia meaning wisdom. So the Church of Holy Wisdom, now a mosque uh, in Turkey and Istanbul, what used to be Constantinople, during the Byzantine Empire, and uh, it is an a, a acknowledgement that um, God's wisdom can guide us, um, can calm us, can center us, and uh, in Psalm 111, it tells us about God's wisdom as a gift. 
Uh, I praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Greater the works of the Lord, studied by all who have pleasure in them. Full of honor and majesty is the work, and his righteousness endures forever. So we study the scriptures. We study the way that God works in our life. We give thanks. We give praise. We look back. Maybe you keep a prayer journal and kind of glean the insights of how God has answered prayer and acknowledged uh, his presence in your life, or has revealed his presence in your life and the ways that you have acknowledged his presence. Uh, he provides food for those who fear him. God provides provision. He is never mindful of his covenant. God takes care of us. He's mindful of that. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. In other words, those who believe in God are called to be a light to the nations. We're called to share the enlightenment and wisdom that we receive from on high, from God, with other people. The works are of his hand. They're faithful and just. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. You know, to be transparent, to be honest, to be open. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and terrible is his name. He is terrible in a way that is um, mighty, uh, that is powerful, that you don't want to challenge God or put him to the test because of God's great uh, omnipotence, meaning um, all power. he's all-powerful. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. This is in verse 10 of Psalm 111. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding uh, have all those who practice it. His praise endures forever. Uh, holy and good understanding. His praises endure forever. So we should give praise to God and an all and healthy respect for God. This is the the, the definition of fear here. A fear is a healthy respect that helps us set limits and boundaries. We understand who God is and we understand who we are. God is God and we are not. Um, there are things that God can control. There are things that are definitely beyond our power and control. And we don't try to tempt faith. Uh, and so having fear, having certain healthy respect is not a quivering Fear that leads us to hide and not be bold and brave for the Lord, but rather it's a, as I said before, that axiom, aphorism. Be, uh, discretion is the better part of that. Making good decisions, you know, going to the Lord in prayer with our decision. That is wisdom. Uh, and it was, it's the kind of gift that we need to ask for, first and foremost. As Solomon asked God for wisdom, God gave it to him. And then from his wisdom came all the a tribute and gold and treasures that came from other nations. He was a light to the nations at one time. Of course, he later went off track when he felt that that wisdom was his own rather than a gift from God. So with wisdom and knowledge also comes a humility that we realize that God is God and we are not. Um, so in, during this time uh, of uncertainty and just kind of wanting this to be over, our wisdom can kind of help us keep an even keel. Wisdom might help us understand. There have been pandemics before in human history. Human beings have gotten through this, have been remarkably resilient. We will get through this again. Uh, our, and pe great people of faith were shaped during times of pandemic and uh, served as great witnesses of faith and courage. Um, so the Lord will guide us. We, we need to trust in Him, place our hope in Him, and ask for the greatest gift of all, uh, aside from faith, and that is wisdom. Uh, lady wisdom will guide us. So I encourage you these days, maybe take a look at the book of Proverbs, maybe take a look at some of the Psalms, and see uh, the wisdom that lays in store for you as a gift from God. Let us pray. Almighty God, I give you thanks and praise, O oh Lord, for this time together that we have, for the wisdom that you give us from on high, O oh Lord, and from the wisdom that you shared for us through when you walked this earth as Jesus. You gave wisdom from the Mount of the Beatitudes. You gave wisdom in the temple court. You even, O oh Lord, uttered wisdom uh, as you hung there on the cross. And, you, and Lord, we listen to it all. We soak it in. And we thank you, O oh Lord, for your generosity 
for your care and your concern of us, for your faithfulness to your covenant. May we go forth in our lives full of wisdom and gratefulness for what you have done for us. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, our teacher and friend, we pray. Amen. All right, everyone. Talk to you later.